This video will help you understand how to connect your base station 3200 to your local network using Ethernet. Before we get started, let's recognize that networking may be intimidating for some of you. We've taken steps to make the process easy for most all installations. Compared to other types of network connections, Ethernet is likely the easiest to set up. There will be times when you need to bring in some help, but for most of you, this will be a breeze. Baseline controllers can connect to a network and the base manager server in various ways. Today, we're reviewing an Ethernet connection, which uses a CAT5 Ethernet cable and the RJ45 port that's on the back of every baseline controller. Begin by connecting the CAT5 cable to the network at a wall connection, your router, or any other network access point. Connect the other end of the cable to the port on the back of the controller, ensuring there's enough slack to open the controller door. At the controller, turn the dial to the network position, and with communication setup highlighted, press enter. Ensure that communication type is set to ethernet. If not, use the plus or minus keys to change it. Use the arrow down key to navigate to IP setup, then press enter. Ensure that IP address mode is set to DHCP. DHCP addresses are network addresses or IP addresses created every time the controller connects to the network. I can tell that this one is because the network has created an IP address with all the pertinent information. Press back twice, highlight base manager setup, and then press enter. Ensure that server URL mode is set to DNS lookup. Make sure that press enter to connect is highlighted so you can press enter and start the connection process. We're done here, so turn the dial to the run position and watch the base manager status cycle through its process. You may see the status showing pending, call server, call waiting, registering, or authorizing. The base manager status at my controller now reads connected, so now I have access to the base manager server. Keep in mind that it may take a minute or two to complete the process before it reads connected. If the connection process stalls at any point, go back to network and base manager server setup to disconnect and then reconnect. It's likely that this will solve the connection issue. Once you're connected to base manager or have an authorization code for first time connections, you can move to the next step that's linked below. Since you're still here, it's possible something didn't work right with the network connection process. After you double check the steps, here are a few things that can help. Are you connected to a private network like a city or a school? You want to contact your network administrator or IT support person for assistance in connecting to your network. The primary question for them is, do we have a DHCP network? Remember, that means it uses a dynamic and ever-changing network address. If the answer is no, the likely alternative is that your network requires a static or unchanging IP address. With that question answered, your network administrator should be able to connect your controller. You may need the baseline support team to help finalize your network connection though. If you want to gather information before talking to your IT department, the MAC address is very helpful. A MAC address is an identifying number for each piece of connected network hardware. For your controller, it can be found at network, communication setup, and then IP setup. You can see the MAC address from my base station 3200 right here at the bottom. The MAC address for your controller will be different, so don't use this one. For Ethernet connections or other help, Baseline support can be reached at support at baselinesystems.com or 866-294-5847.